Tell me how. Tell me about the band. How okay. you all got together? Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, me, me and Rob were the people who started off the band. Um. We've been a band together since we was like fourteen, and then uh. Yeah. The, you know, as as bands do, that kind of fell apart. Like the old bands, we were just like a kids, to be honest. And then um, I came back from university because I was doing a work placement for a year, so I was in London. So usually I'm down in Plymouth doing a, a, a marketing degree. Now on the side, but I've actually dropped that now. I'm very handsy when I speak, because I'm always thinking about <laughs> no. That's what I do, like Tony Burst, I move my hands around all the time. Anyway, um, and yeah, so I, I came back and I gave Robert Corbin's like, do you want to start the band up again? And he was like, yeah, why not? And then uh, Ed's is actually Rob's brother, and then there's Tim, who's also the brother, so there's three brothers in the band. Um, so that kind of happened like that. Yeah. And then uh, Ollie Green, the pianist, is my brother's best mate, so I got him in the band like that, and then Ollie recently joined. Is that what we got? Yeah, a couple months ago. Yeah. Was well, it in. you whose mom got hit by an air balloon during a gig? Ah, oh, no, who was that? No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the old one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why. Our, our old one is Jesse. She brought her mum to the 100 Club and we had, what was it, big beach balls? Mm. And I went to kick one out to the audience and they said he booted it right into her face. It was terrible. <laughs> I felt terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was very awkward. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I, yeah. I had to publicly apologise to her. I was like, this next one's for yeah. you. Please forgive she, us. She looked disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it was full pelt as well. Just whacked straight in the face. Part of my soul died. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, don't bring your mum to any gigs. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't make her stand right in front of the lead guitarist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's dangerous. I know you have an album coming out in summer. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the album? How long has it taken you to write it? Uh, we're actually using songs like for because it's our debut album, so we like. One of the songs go "Don't Get Me Wrong." Me and Rob wrote when we was fifteen, so like we're, now we've kind of like taken that and changed it into something new. So it is like literally like all, all the songs we've ever written together, kind of putting them onto the album, and obviously picking the best ones. So it's got twelve tracks all together. And it's called "Pause in the Moment," and it's out at the end of the end of May, around that time. Mm. So yeah, we can't wait for it. So in terms of sound, what can we expect? Is it still going to be folky? Or is there a variation in influences? Yeah, I suppose it's like it's similar to the EP. I feel, I feel like it, with the EP we didn't really like uh, find our feet properly, but with, with the album now we feel like it's like really, it's like us. You know what I mean? It's the kind of music we want to be making. And, everything. Yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah, there's loads of different styles of songs. Like we've got some like really like quiet ones and stuff, and then we've got like the whole bands, like, we've got, like, like the heavier songs in there as well. So yeah, it should be good. So how does the creative process work in the band? Who does what? I mean, how does it start? Um, it's a crazy one. Um, <laughs> we, we all do different things, really. I mean, we've got kind of a, a core, three three core cool writers in the band, which is Ollie, myself, and the drummer Rob. And I don't know we all kind of have different writing styles, but no, normally we tend to kind of come up with something on our own and then bring it to the other two, and then we'll put it together the three of us. Sing that. It, it changes sometimes. Like there's like one song where like I pretty much wrote all the music by myself, and then came, and then then we sort it out. So whereas like then there's also like like a little bit and just play with it and stuff like that. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's no method, really. I yeah, there's, yeah, there's <laughs> not. Yeah, like, I, I, I write the, the lyrics and then like, with the music we all kind of just share it and I like, compete with like, who's going to write the next song really. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ed, Ed tends, to, tends to write the ones that are really like, complicated and ridiculous because he's like the, the <laughs> musician head, you know what I mean? And then like Rob, he, he writes all the poppy ones. <laughs> I, 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 I write all the, all the other ones, the weird ones, I suppose. Well, well yeah, what's... what's from pop to serious, you're in between. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I actually write like I've only written three songs, I think, for the band, isn't it? Uh, plans, uh, stepping stones, notice me. Yeah. Actually, no, but five anyway. Yeah, you've done all, you've done all the lyrics. So <laughs> yeah, I've done the lyrics, and we yeah. just kind of share the music, share the uh, the load of the music. So yeah. when you all got well. together, sorry, when you all got together in Van Susan's, did you straight away did the did you know which genre you were gonna? start doing because I think some of you are metal fans, others are indie fans. <laughs> <laughs> so how how yeah, how did that work out? Yeah, it kinda like just like happened really. Like we we, we have bands that we really love. Like we we're all like collectively really like uh, American pop bands like Jimmy at World and Jack's Mannequin. That was the kind of route that we're going towards and I think we do sound like them but then we got the violin thrown in there as well. So um got like a definite folky aspect to the to the sound and it kinda happened by accident. Like um We've been described as Gaelic, like stadium music, which is like what? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> what yeah, 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 what is that? We get reviews for it all the time, saying it. And I was just like, really? Like, and then I actually went and listened to some Gaelic, Gaelic stadium music, and it actually does sound pretty, yeah. pretty similar to us. Was well, it good? Was, yeah. Like, really works. So, yeah, we're just doing what we do and writing the music, and it comes out as it is. 
Do you actually remember your first gig? Uh, yeah, well, well, it was... Mine was last week. First, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. first gig was, uh, we also got signed to that first gig as well, didn't we? Yeah, the, 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 wow. the first gig we played, it was kind of like just a showcase for all of us. So we went by to our family and friends, there's like sports hall. And I, got, I, I sent an email to, uh, to uh, oh, which is our record label now, just saying, sure, come down and check us out. And they actually did, I was really surprised. And that, that <laughs> night they signed us. So that was pretty cool. So it was the first gig we played, it got to go, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, How long ago was that? That was a year and a half. Wow. Yeah, like that. yeah so it's happened pretty quickly for us. Mm. Yeah, it's all going to happen. And yeah, obviously you've had some really good reviews last year. I mean, quite good support from few radio stations yeah um how do you how does that feel how do you cope with that like co not yeah. cope because obviously it's not massive number one but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah it's going all right yeah like just uh we, we, whenever we get played we got played at bbc radio 6 recently that was a great feeling uh, mm. so yeah it just sounds it's just awesome which is really good just need <laughs> Just all want them to keep on coming, really. You know what I mean. So we've got we're getting a couple of festival slots and stuff. Nothing massive, but we're still working on it. You know. Yeah, that was actually the next question. Okay. When can we next see you live? Tonight. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, we're playing a show tonight. Uh, the, the, the Bedford in Ballon. Just okay. Like a, a quiet one. I'm guessing it probably won't go out until. No. <laughs> when, when is the next one? We're playing. Uh, we're well, playing. The major the folk one. Up, is it not? Yeah. There's, there's, there's an event called Shut the Folk Art Up, um, which is in Islington Halls. That's okay. on the 29th, 29th of this month, it should be good. Yeah, so we're doing like an acoustic-y thing that mm. we're doing, but it's, it's still the whole band, so yeah, it should be fun. And are you going to be playing festivals then, yeah? Uh, well, hopefully we're, we're still in, in talks, so I don't want to announce anything yet, but yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to get on loads of slots, it's just hard, and so many bands out there and all that, but <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we're still plugging on it, so. So what would be your advice to anyone starting out a band or trying to make it in the music industry? Um, give up. There's too, too much competition out there already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, uh, yeah, you just got to work at it. You just got to really work hard. It's a lot of effort. You got to be like 100% in it. Like I don't have a job at the minute and stuff. I'm just doing music full time. And you know, you just got to really believe in yourself as well. Definitely it takes a lot of that. And then, well, I suppose the most important thing is practicing your instrument to her. Like so many people get like tired down with all the like wanting to get signed and actually practice and play guitar enough. So that's the most important thing. For us, just get really good at playing music, and then eventually <laughs> someone's going to come along and sign you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what you guys got anything? Um, what was I going to say? Mm. I wonder. Hang on. It's really weak. We can cut in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, it's completely gone. No idea. Mm. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you about your videos. Actually, do you make them? Uh, we, we, we made one of our, the, the, actually no, the two of them ourselves, the first one we ever made was Bones, which we actually don't really like very much ourselves, yeah. to be honest, <laughs> but like, re reflecting yeah. on it, it's a bit like, oh, we tried to do too much, and then Plans came out, we did, we, Plans was our first uh, proper single mm. of um, our EP, and yeah, that, we got, got a video for that, we, we made ourselves, which was quite fun, uh, what we did, but um, yeah, we actually like, hired a director to make our two most recent videos. So we've got uh, Bricks of Six of Straw, the, the video is out on YouTube now, so you can check mm. that out. That's pretty fun. That was, that was, that was a good laugh. And uh, Cha Cha Bang, we also got a music video for that one as well. And we're actually looking now to make our, to, to make a new video for our next single. And we, we are thinking about actually doing it ourselves, because uh, we, we, we've got the cameras to do it. Like my pianist, he, he, that's his, what, what he likes to do. He's a journalist slash like, pianist guy. Mm -hmm. like, so uh, yeah, we, we, we're thinking of doing band it ourselves. Member. It's going to be more fun, isn't it? Yeah. To make it more like us. Yeah. Mm. Do you... Are you very hands-on then with everything that comes to the band, or do you let other people advise you as well? They're both really. We've got like our, our, our manager, which is my, my brother. He, he does a lot for the band, but um, yeah, we definitely are very hands-on with everything, all the decisions that we make and everything. And yeah, we like we, we we are the ones that handle the Facebook page and Twitter accounts and let people do it for us because it's more authentic to it that way. So yeah. I say a bit, a bit of both because obviously we have, got, we have a management team behind us, so we've got a record label and they make decisions for us and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we all kind of get together and have meetings to discuss it, don't we? Yeah. And make decisions like ourselves. So, yeah. Do you have any uh, gigs that really stand out for you from the last year? Yeah, well, I suppose like, we, we, we each got individual favourite ones, haven't we? Yeah. Um, we, we played the Cavern last year, you know, the Cavern in Liverpool. 
with the Beatles in the famous oh, okay, cabin. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Well, obviously with the Beatles, but <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> like this would be fun. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, that, that was that was really cool because it's such like a, like a renowned venue and stuff. Mm. And it was awesome. It's got all the writings on the wall, mm. like all, all the different band names that like, the bands that played there write write their names on the wall. So we had to, had to add that. That was a pretty good feeling. We're actually back there, aren't we? We're going back yeah. in a couple of months Maybe. to of course to play the cabin. May 26th or something, we should really have these dates written down, because we're not very good at them. But yeah, we, we all have different like favourite venues, it's like with, with gigs that we played, it's all about the experience really that you have. Mm. But for me, I really enjoyed that night, just the whole like going to Liverpool, it's such a great time. So. What, what was your favourite gig? Uh, well, that one we the other week was one of my favourites, so it's my favourite. That was, what was that again? The IDIT, Proud, yeah, yeah, Proud, Proud 2. two. Mm. Like, um, yeah, it's just so much fun. But uh, probably playing Indigo to the first time. Yeah, there's a, there's a club in, in the OT Dine called the uh, Indigo Two. That's really cool. We've yeah. played there a couple of times now. Mm. So big big was... stage, you get treated like a king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the backstage <laughs> is very nice. Really? Yeah, like a shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they had like a barrel of vodka for all the bands to show. <laughs> but I didn't actually see any of that, which made me really sad. So. You're, very, you're very serious. <laughs> so you're yeah, you're just very serious. <laughs> into your yeah, music. Yeah, we don't drink and play, I definitely don't. <laughs> <laughs> I drink after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and your favourite gig was last week? Well, yeah, my first one, so yeah. <laughs> it's my favourite one yeah, so far. Yeah, one. How's yeah. it been to uh, get introduced to the band? And um, It's been good because it's not what my usual type of music is. I'm a classically trained violinist. Mm. I was at Royal College. I've gone through all that through my life playing Mozart, Bach, all these things and now to play with Francis is really fun because I like I prefer performing this sort of way rather than the serious classical on the stage where everyone's like, you know, looking and you're waiting for you to make a mistake. You know uh, whereas like with this you can just really like go oh, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.